Hello everybody, Ragtag Sagby here. Welcome to the next episode. In the last episode, we entered Galarian Mine, Mine number two. Ooh, um, faced off against Bead after having a dinner with the chairman. And now let's continue our way through Galarian Mine 2 to find Kabu. First off here, if you stand in the very obvious mouths, which can be a little bit tricky to spot if you're not paying attention to the ground, you can find Galarian Stunfish. Which I love that it's literally a uh, bear trap. I love that the Galarian form is like, how can we turn this flat Pokemon into something else? I know, let's turn it into a bear trap. Its conspicuous lips lure play bleh, lure prey in as it lies in wait in the mud. When the prey gets close, Stunfish clamps its jaw steel fins down on them. So yeah, it purposely leaves its mouth exposed to try and lure uh, Pokemon to it so it can attack. Oh uh, yeah, we'll have Raiden take lead for this battle. My Pokemon are bursting with energy! What I mean to say is, please battle me! My worker, Francis. Ooh, this may not be a good battle for uh, Raiden, we'll see. As he faces a charcoal, um... Surprising electric moves are, are effective, so let's do that. Wash right in, uh, in for there for a second there. Let's give it one more sapping, and that should take out charcoal. And Raiden grew to level 29. So we're gonna have to, uh, either put Yoshi in the front or uh, arsenic in the front. A loss is a loss. My Pokemon lost its energy too. Arsenic, take point. Ooh, three dust balls. That would actually be really good to use in here since this is a cave. When I'm tired of work, it's time for a battle. I'll show you the muscles I've built up. My worker... Yolani? Yolanoan? How do you say that? I think I struggled to say it in the, in the sword let's play as well. Like, how do you pronounce that? <laughs> oh, this is not a very great matchup. Let's switch Arsenic out. And have our Yoshi shine. Take that rock out with a glassy, gl glassy grind? Uh, grassy uh, glide. Yeah, glassy glide. It's gonna be. It's gonna turn into glass. That would actually be like an interesting move. If we had like a glass-based Pokemon. That probably would be the name of a move. Anyway, she's about to send out Tumber, so let's switch back to Arsenic. As somebody's using their power tools, as I'm recording. Sounds like it's coming from the next door neighbor. Hopefully that's not being picked up in the recording. Otherwise you're just gonna randomly hear Brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
The muscles I use for work and for battle are different. Okay, so that's, that's a spot we can fish. This is just something I overheard, but two Pokemon of the same species can have different strengths. Grip Claw, an item to be held on a Pokemon. It extends the duration of multi-turn attacks, such as Bind and, and Wrap. But look who's here. Squeeze me, mate. Sorry to bother you. You're one of them taking part in the gym challenge, right? I uh, crikey, that's really something. I do love the battle against a trainer like you. Well, look at you, Donnie. Surrounded by adoring fans, eh? Eh, you will even be showing up Lee pretty soon. Oi, jog on, mate! Can't you see we're in the middle of a conversation here? Yeah? And I can't see you, and you, uh, uh, and you can't see that on Hop, the trainer who will be your next champion. Oh, we got a Joker here, eh? You're so funny, I forgot to laugh. You think I'm joking? I'll prove it then. And I think I'll battle with you, Ulop, will definitely end with some laughs. Let's take them on together, Donnie. You ready, mate? Yes, I am. The two of us were endorsed by the champion himself. We'll show you just what that means. Well, if you insist, Team Yell's gonna teach you kids that the gym challenge no joke. You better not be a yellow -o. What's What do this other kid it have to uh, have to come waltzing up for, eh? I just wanted to knock off challenges. It's one at a time. Time to face Team Yell, alongside with Hop. To bring out a Linoon and a Feeble. So we're partnering up with a Hoop and uh, with with Hop Lulu. Also, I love during this battle the camera will pan to Team Yell. Um, well, I would like to actually have both of them in the shot, please, game. Yeah, I love this, that they're synchronized head bopping. <laughs> I do, I don't know why, but I just find it very funny that they're synchronized like that. Alright, let's go for a nasty plot. So that way Ember can at least do a bit more damage. Arsenic is thinking of a nasty plot. Which raises her special attack. And this Feeble had the exact same idea. So that Feeble's gotta go first. And Hop's actually got the right idea. Does Feeble have access to any good special attacks? I thought it was mostly a physical attacker. I'm gonna have to double check off Feeble's move pool. Oh, later on. Ooh, that hit hard. That was a critical, no wonder. Ooh, arsenic. Well, Hop's Wooloo is dead. He's gonna bring out his Corvus Squire. Uh, let me go to my bag and heal up Arsenic, because even if I take out the Feeble, the Linoon, if it decides to target uh, Arsenic, which would be very likely, would take it out of one hit. So let's just quick give Arsenic a good bottle of Moo Moo Milk. Hops unleashing his Fury. And now my... Wow, that Feeble's hitting hard because of that nasty plot. Jesus! Well, Feeble's just undone my nasty plot because of that. I need to get rid of this Feeble immediately.
Okay, the Fred is gone. Arsenic grew to level 29. Which I think that's the level she evolves at, that, um, Salanid evolves in. So she's gonna be evolving after this battle, if I remember correctly. Hops lost his Corvus Squire, and now here comes his Raboot. Alright, while well, uh, Raboot's out, let's switch to Yoshi. Hop didn't do this badly in the Shield Let's Play, didn't he? I thought he held his own in the Shield Let's Play. I don't think he ever lost his Lulu. Ooh, that hit all five times. Alright, let's do a grassy glide on that line noon so we don't have to worry about critical hits. Ah, uh, you're gonna fear swipe me again. Alright, this time it was just free hits. By the way, thank god the loaded dice item does not exist in this game! And loaded dice is something that's being added to Scarlet and Violet, because if it had loaded dice, that would be problematic. For any of you who don't know, because of the recent reveal, loaded- Ah, oh, how did that Line Noon survive? Uh, loaded dice makes it that way your, uh, multi-hit attacks have more- has a higher odds of fully succeeding their five hits. It's not a guarantee, but it makes it more likely. It's basically like the equivalent- it's like an item version of Skill Link. Um, essentially, but but the one drawback is that it doesn't guarantee all five hits, unlike Skill Link. Which for Pokemon like uh, Broom, which they showed off with, that is really devastating if you add that on top of Technician. Anyway, Yoshi grew to level 29 and Koto to level 30. Ooh, Hop's Raboot is barely hanging in there. Oh, uh, he's bringing out the adorable Pam Cham. Let's switch the right in. He's probably going to take out Hop's Raboot. If I were to take a guess, because Raboot's lower in health. Yeah, I've had a feeling he would target, uh, he would prioritize Raboot because the Raboot wasn't as healthy. So Lo Hop has lost all of his Pokemon. I don't think any of his Pokemon fainted in my sword let's play in this battle. Anyway, let's take out Pam Jam with Psychic Fangs. And down the adorable panda goes. Oh, 41 so close to a level. Are, are you going to yell at us? Because we uh, yell us. If I use a horn, I would have had a better chance of winning. That little mug ugs the champion's little brother. Guess that's what you get when your older brother's not useless. I know we team yell, but we'll leave quietly once we are beaten. Nice one, Donnie. That's my rival for you. Now then, where could Cabo O could have gone had gone off to? Let's keep looking. Maybe he's further in. Alright, let's put right in, in the front. And battle this do draw. Ooh, quick! A uh, critical capture. Yeah, 
Is that one of my cats fighting? Hang on a sec. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I just... Sorry for the cut. I had to quickly go check because I could have sworn I heard one of my cats fighting. Uh, I think it was... It was either Bella or Dora. It was one of my cats. Anyway. This Pokemon rapidly extends its retractable neck to sink its sharp fangs into distant enemies and take them down. And we get ambushed. Ooh, you anticipating my psychic fangs? Arsenic's close to a level. Uh, let me see. Go down here. I think that's the way we need to go. Yes, because over here there's an item. A bag of soft sand. Oh, here we fight a trainer that's really out of place. Steam power can send any opponent flying. Challenger by Railstaff Vincent. What is this guy doing here? He looks like he's like one of the workers for the train station. Like, what is he doing here? Like, I guess because there's mine carts. But again, what would a, like a guy that you would expect, you know, to see at your average train station be doing here of all places? You figured they would be wearing more specialized clothing. Or at the very least be wearing like minor gear. I don't know, the rail staff, there's like I think like two or three of these guys in the game, and if I remember I think most of them, if not all of them, are very are really out of place. Like this guy at least makes a little bit of sense, but I believe there's like one later on that's like nowhere near train tracks or anything like that. And anyway, I ride an arsenic grew to level 30. Oh, uh, Roar. Is that, does that raise physical attack? Or... Oh, uh, no. This one is to scare off Pokemon. It's how I think, is the one that raises physical attacks. Arsenic grew to level 30. Oh, she didn't evolve. I thought she evolves at level 29. So, is it level 30? Is it level 30 or is it later on in level 30 she evolves? Let me see. Incinerate, user attacks the Pokemon with fire. If the Pokemon's holding a certain item to bury, it becomes burnt up. More powerful than, um, um, Ember, so sure. Let's give it to ya. Yeah, and Arsenic is female, so I do have the right type of Salandit. Hey, let's bring in Yoshi. I love that when it comes in the battle, the tail and, and eyes come poking out of the apple. Uh, let's have uh, Apple defeat a giant rock snake. Ooh, it might actually survive the grassy glide with this. Uh, because doesn't it sharply raise all its stats by one or two stages? It might survive even with the four times weakness. Or it won't. Because Yoshi right now isn't very powerful. And it only when it evolves it's going to be an actual threat to anything. So I'm surprised it actually took it out with, even with the curse. What incredible power. I guess I was the one sent flying. Railways were built all across the Galar region a long time ago when the steam engine was built. Sand Tomb. Um, the user traps the target inside a harsh, harsh, raging sandstorm for four to five turns. 
Actually, now that I think about it, I guess this playbook would make sense if trains, like passenger trains, came through here. But would passenger trains back then go through mines? Like, active mines? And of course we encounter a stunfish. Because as far as I'm aware, if this mine isn't abandoned, it's still active. If it was abandoned, then that would be a then that would be a completely uh, different other case. Because then, yeah, you could repurpose it into a tunnel for like vehicles. Thank you for helping with my training, Team Yell. But I must say, it's unfortunate for you to get in the way of of charcoal or at hard at work. We ain't getting in its way, we're trying to cheer it on! Still, you did a number on us in that Pokemon battle, so it's time for Team Yell to scamper! And you give a morale boost elsewhere! Cheering is one thing, but one shouldn't get in the way of, a, of honest work. That's Kabu! Man, he's wicked! No, he's no wonder he's the fire type gym leader. Ah, you are the trainers endorsed by Leon and on oh, Hop and Donnie, am I right? I was just us training right up until the oh, the last moment so that I can guarantee the perfect match when I face you gym challengers. I specialize in fire type Pokemon. And the water type Pokemon in uh, on in Galar Mine number two are the perfect opponents to train against. Regardless, it's getting late. Just go straight once you get out of this mine and you will reach Motorstroke. Get a good rest at the hotel and make sure you're both in top condition. Come on, Charcoal, time for you to head on home too. I'll make sure you get there safely. We are going to be on fire tomorrow. I remember Lee talking about out Kabu. He said that a lot of gym challengers give up because they just can't beat Kabu. Man, now I'm getting all fired up too. That charcoal all from before. I guess it must have been here on a job. You do know about Pokemon jobs by now, right? Hey, <laughs> Poka what? I do. Of course you do. Now, Han creamed Wackert. Hey, and on and I am for the Badoo drop in and some sleep. Come tomorrow. Oh, that fire gym leader Kabu better be ready, cause I'm be coming for him. And with that, we'll end the episode off here. So in the next episode, we will start making our way back to Motorstroke. If you enjoyed this episode, do like the video as it helps tremendously. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below on your thoughts in this episode and share the video so more people can discover my content and help the channel grow. I'll see you all next time. Later.